Hi Cancers, welcome back to my channel. We're going to write in two messages to you. So what this person wants to say is that they're definitely feeling this deep regret in karma. This is this overall energy for all the readings I've done this week with these messages to you. And so it's either karma and regret. Like people are really reaping what they're sowing. The Will of Fortune is definitely in cycle right now. What goes around comes around. A lot of karmic cycles are ending. This person basically feels lost without you. They feel stuck in their heads. They cannot stop thinking about you. They're grieving you, thinking over the past with the Six of Cups and Rebranch. For some of them, they're waiting on a sign from you. They're really hurting deeply over this breakup with the Five of Cups in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse. As you can see, the cups are in reverse with what they want to say to you, that they're in deep pain. Some of them are crying at night over you, and they're really wanting to heal the situation with you. But again, there's a delay because they're hurting really bad right now, and they don't know if, you know, you're going to want to make this work, Cancers. Or they're thinking about, they're, they could potentially be hiding something that they haven't told you yet either. So we're going to look deeper into that. Soulmate, yeah, they feel like you're their soulmate and they want to give this relationship a chance. And it says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Look at this honeymoon, enjoy the bliss, the holiday time together. So maybe Memorial Day weekend is the next holiday. So might hear from them then, but... They're saying they feel you're their soulmate and they want to give this relationship another chance. You guys are broken up when you're currently not talking. You've been arguing a lot. We have Aquarius and Libra energy showing up. Cancers, yeah. Yeah, they're hiding their feelings, hiding the hurt over you. And it's like they want to tell you that even when they feel like giving up, a little piece of them is wanting to balance things out, which is why... You know, they're going to tell you that they came forward. They're going to tell you that they got their karma. You know, they got kicked in the ass with it and they learned from their mistakes. For some of them, you know, they let go of a toxic relationship and they want to tell you this now. They're ready to date you. They got out of a third party relationship because we do have that three of swords showing up. They know that they hurt you really bad and in doing so, they hurt themselves and they want to, you know, give you an offer. But at the same time, if you hesitate, they, because of this toxic relationship, they just want to take it slow right now, you know, keep a friendship going, but still maintain that romance part with this page of cups. Yeah, because there's that karmic cycle ending and the will of fortune turning around, you know, things are coming to light. We do have the three of wands with the three of pentacles or reverse, five of the swords and the magician. Yeah, so I feel like this person's going to tell you exactly like why things didn't work out, why they were like in their selfish manipulative tendencies, why they were the cause of this to end Scorpio energy, they're gonna tell you all this and everything that they learned with judgment and karma coming up. We have the Hierophant, Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands, yeah. Some of them, they're gonna tell you that they got advice um, from someone. For some, they know that they were taking advantage of you, like Brett harming you, and this is why they're struggling to come forward. Like, they know exactly what they were doing, but the love for you, Cancer, is it's just so overwhelming. And they're gonna tell you that, that they're in love with you, they're falling in love with you, they're unhappy without you. This could be a twin flame ending of this karmic relationship, you know? Definitely twin flame energy that's coming in. The last emperor is showing up, because you're showing up twice, Cancers. Yeah, they hate this breakup. They're regretting this breakup really badly. The Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Two of Cups, because they now know what they could have had, and they lost it. They lost it all. The Aquarius energy, that disappointment. And they're really in their heads about it. So now I see why the Eight of Swords are here because my I'm kind of getting an instant headache. And as I say that, look at that. The Nine of Swords, like really in their head, like in the front of my forehead getting a headache. Like this type of tension, this type of heartache. We got the Star in reverse, Page of Swords, Nine of Swords. Their mind is very chaotic right now over you. And they're going to tell you this. Like they just can constantly stop thinking about you, which is why they're going to come forward. Why is Six of Cups showing up? Yeah. Because they're constantly thinking about what could have been the love, the success that you guys could have had if they just were to choose you, Gemini energy. Why is the star card showing up? Yeah. So they're figuring out which cup to give you. And they're going to be very precise to um, air sign. They're still a fire sign. They're still disappointed in how they're feeling. And they became single. So now you're just wanting to take this next step and apologize to you, Cancers. Because your guard is up and they know that. But you know that you have open arms. But look at that. Five of Cups is in reverse now twice. And they felt really left out. And they're going to, they they know that they're going to have to work hard to, you know, break down this wall. Work super hard to break down this wall. And they know that. 
they're definitely feeling the loss of you. There were a few readings that had this vibe, just intense grieving. We're going to see what this person wants to say. A lot of ooh, sadness here. All right, Cancers. If I can get this out. <laughs> what does this person want to say to you? A lot of pain here. I hide behind material things. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. I wonder if you are happy without me. Yes, like they're wondering how you... Like I said earlier, they're wondering how you are. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, because for some, they were dealing in another situation. I feel you even though we're apart. And I look for you everywhere. Because you're their soulmate. This is our soul speaking to you. I feel you even though you are apart. And I look for you everywhere. I know that I crossed the line for you. Because like I said, for some, they know what you were doing. I love you. And I want to be more than friends. Because they realize you're their soulmate. But I feel like this is literally their soul speaking, though. I look for you everywhere for you, even though we're apart. Your soulmate definitely is speaking to you. I feel like this is true love. This can amount to success here. But it's all if you want to know this person um, success. Anything else this person wants to say to you? This is like the chaser. Chaser and code independent relationship for of abandonment issue. The snake competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah, because there's another situation that's going on. Maybe there was a child involved here with the karma that this person is always going to be in their lives, but they now realize who this codependent person is, and it wasn't you. They are got that clarity now. Clarity, true revelation, clarity, force of honor, protection, power. So it's up to you if you want this. We have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So they have completely gotten up out of that. And like I said, this is a karmic cycle that's ending. They're learning from their mistakes, this perception. We have confident endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition cancer. So, wow. Crazy reading here again. Maybe around Memorial Day you might hear from this person. Um, and it might come very unexpectedly and kind of throw you off here, all right? So, I'm going to leave it there, cancers, and take care.